We've been listening to the Beatles recordings for so many years that we know the details and sounds of each recording so well. Vinyl, cassettes, CDs, streaming, and other formats have standardized the stereo sound, but the Beatles always prioritize their recordings in mono. So today, we present a brief guide to some of the differences in the Beatles' mono and stereo recordings. One, two, three, four. Tell me why. Yeah, you Start did. again. What did you do then? You made a mistake. No, I know you did. Okay. Rhythm and Blues Part 9. We start with easy concepts to help understanding this video in a clearer way. What is a mono and a stereo recording? In short, a mono recording is one where the sound is left and right channels at the same time. A stereo recording has different sounds in each channel. That's why in many songs, we have the voices on one side and for example, a guitar on the other. When people started to notice the variations of the Beatles between mono and stereo records, a hunt started between specialists and fans to list them all. From Please Please Me to the White Album, the albums came out in both formats. On purpose or by accident, there are many variations. We chose some examples because the list is huge, and due to copyright issues, we cannot put much. In the description of the video, we'll leave a list created by Joseph Brennan with a detailed and very informative list of all the variations. Let's listen to some examples. Please Please Me has a mistake where John and Paul sing different lyrics, but in the mono version, you can hear Lennon pronounce come on in a different way. Here's the recording. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Da, 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 da. The mono version does not have the traditional harmonica that we all knew on the original single. It was replaced by the guitar riff. This variation is notorious for the Past Masters album. Da, da, da. Continuing with the harmonica, it appears in this song in the stereo version, but in the mono version, there is no harmonica again, and it is replaced by backing vocals in the same seconds. Paul had difficulties reaching the note that says, would be sad if our new love was in vain. He stayed like that in the stereo recording, but in the mono, he solves this problem. Would be sad if our new love was in vain. Would be sad if our new love was in vain. Help! I need somebody! Help! The stereo and mono versions feature different vocal versions by John Lennon. This is a real highlight. Hard to appreciate, but these have different vocal effects in the echo of the chorus. Listen a little. When we get to the Revolver album, we realize something. The mono version has a guitar effect that is not in the stereo version. Did you know it? In Yellow Submarine, there's a variation in the first guitar note. In one mix, there's one guitar strum. And in the second, there are two. In the town, in the town, life of me, every one of us. McCartney's vocals are different in both takes towards the end of the track. Plus, the audio fadeout is much longer and different in the mono mix. And suddenly I see you. Did I tell you 
When the remix version of Sgt. Peppers appeared in 2017, some were surprised with the speed of this track. This is how the track was originally, but Jeff Emmerich forgot to speed it up when mixing the stereo mix, so we knew it was this way for many years. Standing alone at the top of the stairs, standing alone at the top of the stairs. In the reprise version of Sgt. Pepper's, you can hear Lennon having a different intervention in the mono version. Also, McCartney's closing was not so easy to hear in the stereo. So, in the 2017 remix, they could modify the stereo track to how the mono one sounded. The mono version offers the listener something different here. It doesn't have the same chorus effect that Harrison put in the stereo mix. Listen to this. The famous clapping disappears completely in the mono mix of the song. In the mono version, you can hear Paul McCartney's backing vocals at a higher volume. They can even be heard at the same level as Lennon's voice. As she's leaving home, the mono version has a different speed. The mono version of this song also has no applause. They disappeared. Who knows how long I've Paul does the bass of this song with his mouth, but in the mono version, he's not there during the first verses. Who knows how long I've loved you. In its mono version, it has guitar excerpts that do not exist in the stereo version. For example, this one. These are just a few examples of the wide amount of variations that exist. There are dozens and dozens. There are books and written guides that detail each variation of each album. The Beatles are always rediscovered, and here is one more reason to explore their great discography. Did you know these variations? Comment here below which are your favorites, and if you prefer mono or stereo. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel and comment. This is Music Box.